Jesus allows for interruption, reverencing moments. And oftentimes these interruptions become these incredibly divine invitations to something. And Jesus not only reverences creation and people and the world around him, Jesus shows us this ultimate act of reverence by reverencing the Father. And it starts with this reality that the Father's alive, that worship is a dialogue requiring reverence, that spontaneity is a reality of our worship because spontaneity is the reality of every living relationship. And if our God's alive, then we've got to be awake for that living encounter. Jesus says, hey, you want to be a worshiper? This is how I do it. I, my, my Father, this Father I'm introducing you to is so alive, so active, that I actually don't do anything I don't see my Father do, and I don't say anything I don't hear my Father say. That's reverence. <laughs>